your groundbreaking AI model is ready. But why is your high bandwidth memory running half empty? In this video, allow me to show you how to unlock several times the throughput from the hardware you already paid for. If you're a developer deploying AI models, you already know that choosing your deployment architecture is tough, especially when you run into these three common technical challenges. The first big hurdle is memory inefficiency. In traditional serving methods, we're often burning cycles and incurring higher costs because standard practices are memory inefficient. They fail to maximize the high bandwidth memory on our accelerators. But another major issue is latency, especially under heavy user load. When more requests come in, naive batching systems create longer queues, resulting in slow response times and a poor user experience. Finally, the sheer size of modern models often exceeds the memory of a single accelerator, which forces you to serve them across multiple hosts. In response to these three common issues, I suggest teams serve their models using VLLM, an open source inference and serving engine designed to handle these problems at scale. The most exciting feature of VLLM is page detention. The V in VLLM stands for virtual because the feature was inspired by virtual memory and operating systems. Page detention manages the model's memory in smaller non-contiguous blocks. This drastically reduces memory waste, allowing for much larger batch sizes and higher throughput. But VLLM also features prefix caching. In many applications like chatbots, the initial part of a prompt is reused across multiple turns of a conversation. VLLM caches the computation for these shared prefixes, significantly speeding up subsequent responses. And for models that are too large for a single accelerator, VLLM offers support for multi-host serving, allowing you to easily distribute your model across multiple GPUs or TPUs. It even supports disaggregated serving, where the initial processing of a prompt and the subsequent generation of tokens can be handled by separate, specialized resources for optimal efficiency. The great news for Google Cloud users is that VLLM is fully supported on both GPUs and our custom-designed TPUs, giving you the flexibility to choose the best accelerator for your workload with only a few minor configuration changes. Just to linger here for a moment, that means you can switch to TPUs without rewriting your code and then switch back to GPUs whenever it suits you. Finally, to squeeze every last drop of performance out of your hardware, VLLM provides a rich set of tunable parameters. You can control everything from accelerator memory utilization to the maximum number of batch tokens, allowing you to fine tune your serving configuration for your specific use case. To learn more, check out the links in the description. Thank y'all for watching.